scam alert, 90 Day Fiancé star Nicole Nafziger reportedly working for company accused of fraud. What's going on here? Fans recognize Nicole Nafziger from the hit TLC show 90 Day Fiancé, but she's also an employee of the clothing company Lou Laro, which has previously been accused of being a pyramid scheme. And now, it's just been hit with another lawsuit. The lawsuit claims the company charged unlawful sales tax to customers according to Radar. From at least April 2016 through June 1, 2017, defendants unlawfully charged a sales tax to consumers in tax-free jurisdictions in Alaska on their purchases of clothing, the complaint filed on September 13 read, in court papers obtained from United States District Court for Alaska. Lou Laro knew its collection of taxes in these jurisdictions was unlawful, but concealed this fact from consumers actively misleading them regarding the legality of its practice. This unlawful practice harmed plaintiff and each class member in precisely the same manner. The company is being accused of charging a fraudulent tax on over 70,000 sales transactions shipped into non-taxing jurisdictions in Alaska. Lou LaRoe has until October 26, 2018 to file paperwork, after asking for a motion for extension of time to respond to the complaint. In October, 2017, the company was accused of being an illegal pyramid scheme, but the case was dismissed. So, here's where Nicole comes into the mix. The reality star, 24, recently joined the company, according to her social media page that is. Swipe left for more beautiful patterns, Nicole posted on Instagram. I've started posting some of my hashtag Lularo at discounted prices. Interestingly, Sister Wives star Mary Brown is also a longtime employee of the company. Fans are hoping Nicole is making and spending her money wisely these days, especially after she shelled out $6,000 to her fiancé Azantafu to start a separate beauty business, when he only paid $500. We'll see what comes of this.